Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as Great Moravia, or technically as Nitra for the time being. Uh, we are still waiting on our uncle to die. Uh, we are still first in line. There is a risk that he actually gets a child uh, and a new heir from Queen Vieira, which is not a good thing. Um, he's only 52, which, I mean, it's old, but it's not that old. Um, so there's still, <laughs> there's still time for him to actually conceive a child. Which is a problem. So if that happens, then we'll take care of it <laughs> in some form or fashion. Uh, but <laughs> for the time being, we're okay. Now, there are some, some things that are worrying, though, is that our king has... Um, yeah, there's an independence faction for Upper Silesia. Silesia has a decent standing army, 803. Whereas our king, while it says that he can raise up to that much, I don't think he's going to be able to. I don't know. We might actually have to help him out um, in that war. But for the time being, I want to focus my attention on Bohemia. I found out that I actually have a strong claim on the Duchy of Bohemia, which is the entirety of this region right here, which would be absolutely perfect, right? So, and we could just do this right now. We're kind of evenly matched uh, militarily. However, if we go ahead and purchase a... Well, we don't have enough money. And I also need money for usurping the High Chieftain of Ungvar, which isn't necessary, really, but we do get some ducal claims if we can uh, usurp that. So, there's two options, right? We, we wait, bide our time, gather some money, take the High Chieftain of Ungvar, and then possibly go in there, or we take this delicious land over here, which also, by the way, would put us in direct... Uh, paths with East Francia. Uh, we, I mean, we already are, right? But this is more uh, more borders with East Francia than I'd like. It, it is pretty defensible, though. We have some pretty nice mountain ranges in here, which is pretty cool. But also, there's a lot more uh, heathens. Which would be a problem. Um, oh, by the way, someone did point out to me, I, want to, I just want to mention, that uh, we are Slovene, which is still... Slovak. It's pre-Slovak culture. This is what kind of turns into that. Um, it it kind of splits off between that and I think Slovenian. Yeah. Right now it's just Slovene, but eventually over time, in history, uh, it becomes Slovak, um, which is yeah, I just want to clarify that because someone did point that out to me, and I just want to make sure that while things happen, because here's the thing, right? So when I play these games, I learn a lot from you guys. Uh, about the history and of the regions that I play in, about certain characters, and I love that. I love learning new things um, about where I'm playing, and that's why I like to pick countries like this, where I don't know much about them um, at the start. I do a little bit of research, but ultimately, a lot of my, you know, a lot of the things that I learn about these places come from you. So uh, please send me more facts about these countries, characters, this region, uh, because I, I love that. I really do. Anyway, let's unpause for a little while. Uh, we are, I think... I, no matter what, we're going to need money. Because I want to build a Men-at-Arms, which is our, our uh, retinue. Uh, CK2, it would be the retinue. And of course, I'm ill. Okay, so my mortal body. Duke or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours. A dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Now this doesn't necessarily mean anything. Uh, it does drop out. Oh, it's a severe penalty to my health. So this is a change that I actually quite like in uh, from CK2, is that you can actually hover over this little heart above your character, and it actually tells you how your health is doing. So you, you don't guess as to how poorly you, uh, your uh, constitution is. So right now we're still fine, even with the ill trade. So we're all right. I think. Uh, let's uh, send for the, uh, the physician. Oh, we don't even have one. So my servants will search for possible court physicians. Okay. Well, there goes some money. <laughs> Trying to save up, but uh, that's just not going to happen. Um, it looks like our bishop also did, uh, did something. So the county of Orava gains conversion fervor, which increases the levy size because he's... 
oh yeah, he's propagating religion. So this, these are some events that can happen as uh, your counselors are tasked to certain areas. Um, and currently, because he was here, it got a random event that is actually increasing its levy size. Um, while for, for about five years, not too shabby. Okay, and court physician. Right, we can choose between two people. We have uh, Budimir and Radovan. So, Budimir. Okay, learning is 12, where Radovan's is 7. Yeah, I think I'd rather... But the difference in price is insane. But it is 5 extra learning points. And I, you know what, I, I think... Let's just get ourselves a good one right now, so that we don't necessarily have to do that later on. <laughs> because... Yeah, let's just do that. Alright, welcome to the court. And uh, do no more than what is necessary. Yep. It's not that it's not that big of a deal. It's just an illness. It's not cancer. It's not something more, you know, <laughs> more deadly. Budimir lowered his hand into the bucket he brought to my chambers. When he pulled it out again, a little fish was wriggling between his fingers. Open wide, he said, and dropped it into my mouth. I struggled not to retch as it tickled the back of my throat. Whatever was in that fish turned out to be just what I needed, though. <laughs> For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated, and the world seems a little brighter. Great. So we have reduced disease uh, symptoms, so we gain a huge boost to our health. Let's just... I keep hitting escape, and I, I gotta get used to not hitting it. Uh, to close windows. Right, so our health is increased. Uh, I mean, it's not like it did much, because we're still on fine health. Which is uh, over here. So, I mean, if anything, it probably just cancelled out the uh, the illness. Uh, they are in a war... Oh no, they're being raided by the Duke of Bohemia. Now, the cool thing about being raided... <laughs> I mean, it's not cool, right, but... If your provinces do get raided, you you can actually go ahead and take back the loot. Now, sure, the province that they do siege does suffer a little bit. However, you'll actually gain a monetary value that they took from that if you win against them. And I'll, I'll kind of demonstrate that soon. I'm not sure if we can fight this off. This is a big, this is a pretty big stack. So we'll raise our army and see what we actually raise here. So we have four days of gathering. So this is something that changed as well. And again, I'm trying to go fast here because I don't want to. Uh, talk too much. That was the last episode. Uh, but a major difference in terms of raising your military from CK2 to CK3 is that they don't pop up in all of your random holdings. They only pop up in your main rally point. Uh, and, your, and your rally point can be moved anywhere you want to. Also, you can add more, as you could in uh, CK2. However, they just take some time to get there. So right now we have four days left before our... our um, Levies actually reach this location. Okay, there we go. So we have about 1,248. Let's go ahead and attack. How are our uh, knights? So they suck. <laughs> 11 prowess. Uh, prowess, by the way, is, is your, like, dueling skill. But in this case, we don't have any good people for... I mean, it says average, right, for prowess. But I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing. I'd rather have, like, 20s, or at least higher in the uh, in the teens. All right, well, that'll be fine for now. We don't have any money to actually work with. We're only making 0.3 because we raised our levies. So again, if we can catch this, uh, this army and actually successfully beat it back, we actually gain the money that they take from raiding that province. And considering this is our lieges, we'll actually be gaining quite a decent amount of money as well. So, ah, uh, no, it's not. They only raided 9. You can see their loot down here. So they rated 9 out of 105. So we'd gain 9 gold, and I think 9 prestige. Uh, over here. So I might not want to fight these guys yet. I might want them to just continuously raid. And, oh, they're going back home. We might as well fight them. Chances are even, it says. Uh, they are defending in hills. But we have a better commander, and we have more army commander traits. I mean, it's probably not even worth fighting these guys, but considering they are Bohemia, it's actually kind of good to fight them right now so that they lower their levy size and uh, we can attack them very shortly and uh, not have to worry about their army. So no matter what, we will be fighting the Bohemian army, so it's just doing it now or... Eh, I'm not necessarily doing that well. Okay, we did lose a counselor, though. Uh, did he die in battle? 
Yes, he did. Okay. He was killed by Draslav Draslavid, which is an interesting uh, name. Hmm. Okay, overtaxation causes banditry. So we have bandits running rampant in the county of Gemmer. Okay, it's technically not mine. I mean, it is, but it's it's my vassals, so I'm not not too worried about that one. Um, sinful prince bishop exposed. Okay. Okay, and a faction was created against me. Well, let's take care of our counselor first. Our counselor is going to be one of our vassals, I think. Um, he is actually the best anyway. Perfect. Uh, we will focus on domestic affairs because our vassals don't necessarily like us right now. Uh, the relations are pretty damn low. Yeah, that's uh, not too great. <laughs> so let's take a look at this faction. And I, I guarantee, yeah, it's liberty. Because we raised our crown authority in the last episode, um, they don't like it. They have 82% of our military power, which is pretty substantial. Can I... Um, I could try to modify their feudal contract, which I can, you know, tell them I don't want as much taxes. Um, this will basically increase their opinion of you, depending on what you choose to do here. Title re Okay. So if I do this, I'm telling him that I'm not going to revoke his titles. Um, yeah, I don't think I want to do any of this. I could just sway them. Uh, I think I'd rather sway this guy because he is much, <laughs> much worse off in terms of uh, relationship. So let's do that. Right, so wounded, my injured vassal, Mayor Sfat the Boj, uh, has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on his own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. Severe injury. He is, uh, health is poor. It's not close to death. Uh, it would tell you if it is close to death. But, um, who are you the vassal of? Ah, you're... Who are you? Oh, you're a mayor. Okay, that doesn't really matter to me. <laughs> Uh, are we going to win this battle? I don't think so. Nope. Uh, let's retreat. That sucks. But I did fight them in the hills. I didn't really think about that. <laughs> okay. Disband. We'll let our levies raise back up again. And then we'll try to, I think, declare war for the Duchy of Bohemia. Yeah. I think that's... Uh... God, stop pressing escape. <laughs> I keep doing it. Faction created against King Rostislav, which is the Croatian Slovene skin Slovian The Croatian Slovak populists. Okay, what exactly is that uh, gonna do? So the country of Saris. Which I'm not even sure where that is. Oh that's my wait a minute. What? That's my province. Uh, they want independence. Well hell no. First of all, you're in my territory. I'm not letting you go. I think that we probably should then promote our culture here. We do need money. But I think I'd, I'd rather stop the uh, Croatians from rising up. Not that there's anything wrong with Croatians, but we aren't Croatian. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, try to convert that to uh, Slovak or Slovene and uh, stop that from uh, being a problem. Okay, let's speed it up just a little bit. I want to get more done in these episodes because again if i <laughs> was left to my own devices i'd just talk forever about certain things uh right so we did lose ill uh we are no longer ill as i woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window it took me a moment to realize i had slept soundly for the first time in weeks i did not wake up coughing once i am glad to be well again perfect uh, greetings, my liege. Despite our best efforts, my agents have found no secrets in King Rostislav's court. And he doesn't believe that he will find anything either. Okay. So, come back home. And I think I should probably try to find secrets in my own court. T just to see if there's any courtiers or vassals that are trying to... Uh, well, it wouldn't necessarily tell me about vassals. Let's go, to, let's go to one of my vassals, actually, and see if we can discover something in their court. Because then if I can get, like, a hook on them, I have a lot of sway over 
the factions they join or other things, but uh, that's the main thing I want to get rid of right now is that, that faction. Because I do not want to fight one of those. Uh, we do have a levy size of 1300 if we can get this up to max. I think once we do that, we'll just go straight in on Bohemia. Alright, shifting interest. I was watching Mojmir play with other children when Ludovic tried to push him over. The moment did not last long as Mojmir soon had made an entirely new game out of it and forgotten the previous game entirely. So this is because we're educating our son. Uh, our son that is third in line? Oh no, he's my heir. Okay, so we want the best traits on Mojmir. So if we can take a little bit of stress, that's totally okay. Uh, it looks like... I mean, Fickle isn't bad, but we do lose stewardship, which ultimately means that we don't have as much money coming in if he takes over the throne. Uh, Wrathful, I don't really want. Wrathful isn't good. Uh, I mean, it's good in terms of building up your tyranny, your dread, uh, so that people fear you, but I'm not sure I really want to play with a character that does that right now. I don't want to be considered a tyrant. Um, so I think the best option here is Forgiving. Lowers our intrigue, sure, but that's not necessarily that bad. Uh, we gain prisoner opinion. That's interesting. Uh, <laughs> diplomacy, learning, and it's also a virtue. So we gain Catholic opinion and piety, which is fantastic. So yeah, let's uh, use some stress. We're going to throw ourselves 15 stress, which in the grand scheme of things is not that much. Um, stress... If we hit 300 stress, we'll go to the next level. And at that point, then things will start getting a little hairy. Um, but, uh, we'll, we'll hit that point when we come to it. I think, uh, that's okay, though. Okay. We are almost at max, maybe another month or two. And then we'll go in on Bohemia. Count Drachomir not swayed. So, basically, when this runs its course every ten months, you either have a chance, this is the chance here, 63% chance of either swaying the person that you're trying to sway, uh, which would give them 25 extra relations, or... Well, not swaying, and it just does nothing. So, sadly, that was not a f success, so we don't actually gain any relations with that uh, vassal. Heresy! Waldesenians in Swabia. Okay. That's over here. Well, as long as they don't embrace it uh, and ruin the Catholic faith for us. So, yeah, I mean, we could technically embrace it. But I don't think uh, getting the Catholic faith on our bad side is what we want right now. So, yeah, what twisted mockery is this? Perfect. And it looks like some people actually are converting. Oh, that's a big country. Oh, that's the air. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, no, it's not. Uh, greetings. We don't believe we'll find any... Uh, okay, well, just come back home. I want to find secrets somewhere. Let's go to Gemmer. See if we can find secrets. Oh, you are right. Okay. <laughs> I can't I can't tell my spy master to spy on himself. Um, just go to my court then. And if not, then we'll just stop trying to find these things because it's not working. <laughs> the first time it happened, I barely even gave it a moment's thought, but my steward, Mayor Lubos, has grown bolder. His challenges no longer pass unnoticed at the council table. Uh, he is testing my limits. The others are sure to follow unless I give him a taste of his own medicine. Where are you? Over there. But again, you're just a mayor. Uh, okay, there's a lot of stuff here. So we can gain some, it looks like, experience in our diplomacy. Mocking his foolishness will shut him up. <laughs> Possible outcomes. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, we can gain a weak hook, possibly. A subtle threat of violence, oh my. Right, um... Hmm. I'm not really... Well, I do have some dread, actually. My natural dread is 45. Okay. So we could actually become a tyrant <laughs> if we wanted to. You know what? Let's, um... A subtle threat of violence. I mean, this it does, it's not going to give us dread. But I'm just trying to roleplay it out there, you know. Uh, yeah. And I failed to manipulate him. Great. Oh! Okay. So, I'm not sure what happened here. But it looks like Prince Ludwig, who I believe was the heir, 
Oh, I'm not sure anymore. Anyway, uh, Bavaria is now independent. King Ludwig III, the younger of Bavaria, but he's also Waldesenian, which... Oh, my. That is a huge Catholic heresy um, being sponsored by a very, very large state. They have 2,400 troops. Um, his father has much less. So we have uh, a heretic German king, and it's only 868. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, um... That's fine, I guess. So long as they don't do anything with me. In fact, can we actually, um... He doesn't necessarily hate us. Oh, man. All right, well... Okay, how's it going for children? You're still not pregnant? Perfect. Uh, and you're 31. I'm not sure where we can see your fertility. I don't think we can. Um, oh. <laughs> so, I... I don't know. I mean, the, the higher her age is, obviously, the, the less fertile she is. I mean, it's the same thing for, for males as well in this game, but I believe males have a higher threshold for that because obviously for women, you know, the older they get, the harder it is to bear children and carry that through. Um, obviously, you know, I'm talking about biology here, but that's how the game works as well is what I'm trying to say. So, I don't know, we'll have to watch that still. As long as... Yeah, and he's still... I mean, it's not... Hmm... We'll see. Anyway, espionage sodomy. While performing his duties as spymaster, Count Predslav has uncovered a secret held by my bishop, Vlastibor. Uh, he has been enjoying the intimate company of other men. The foolishness of thinking that such a sin against God would go unnoticed. So, we could, theoretically, um, push that secret into a hook. So we could get a hook on our bishop here and depending on if they're in factions or if they're a vassal or whoever they are, we can force certain things on them. But I don't think they're, um... I don't think he... He matters. <laughs> like, he's our bishop. I don't want to expose him unless there's somebody better, actually. Let's see. Uh, we can't check. Uh, well, we technically could check. Right, so he's at 15 learning. And I think, yeah, he is the best. So we're just going to go ahead and blackmail him uh, for that hook. Okay, perfect. He doesn't like me anymore, but um, <laughs> I don't blame him. I could seduce him now, too, because he's, uh, because he's found out to not be a heterosexual anymore. Interesting. Okay, I think it's time. I think it's time for the war with Bohemia. We're not quite at max, but I don't think... Um, yeah, I think we should still have the advantage here. So we're going to raise our armies after we declare the war, obviously. <laughs> uh, for my claims, which is the entire Duchy of Bohemia, which is fan-freaking-tastic. Okay, declare that. Raise our armies. Again, it takes some time to uh, gather them up here. Well, that's not as much as I thought it was going to be raised. But, sure. Wait, what is this? Oh, come on. You de You declared your war the instant I declared, uh, I declared mine. So, Upper Silesia, which I mentioned earlier in the episode, uh, has declared an independence war against uh, King Rostislav. Uh, so if they enforce demands here, I just want to take a look. Oh no! King Rostislav is deposed. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That actually works in our favor. Because if I'm reading this correctly... If they enforce demands, King Rostislav will be deposed, basically abdicating his throne to his primary heir, which is me. Oh no! What? Uh, I joined the war. Alright, I know we're in two wars right now, but we can, we can work this through. Uh, I definitely want to depose... Oh, if we depose him first, then we... Mm, okay, this is some good stuff. I think I'm going to wait till next episode to actually see this through. But uh, there's some good stuff happening. I, I hope I don't... Oh, I hope I didn't overextend myself by declaring the war first, though. Oh, we'll see. It'll be fun. 
Anyway, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will depose our king and take over the Duchy of Bohemia, granting us quite a bit of territory and making Great Moravia ever greater. So thank you all for watching, and definitely stay tuned for more.